Woody Womack joined by Chad Simmons. Big news today, Chad, as Florida State loses quarterback commit Luke Altmaier. Just brutal, the timing and just another loss on the recruiting trail for the Seminoles, especially at quarterback. Yeah, it's a tough one for Mike Norvell and that staff in Tallahassee for sure. You know, Altmaier committed to Florida State, I believe it was February 3rd, earlier this year in 2020. So right around signing day uh, 2020. And, you know, he knew Norvell from Memphis. They offered him early when Norvell was at Memphis. They had that connection. um, and, And that's what led him to an early commitment to Florida State. Just knowing the success he's had in the past uh, with quarterbacks, with offenses, and obviously, as time went on, Almar had more time to to think about things, reevaluate. He watched Florida State play, and, and and doubt just entered his mind about what the right place was for him. And he obviously feels Florida State is not that, and that is a tough blow with Almar being an early enrollee. He was set to. You know, just a few weeks ago to sign with Florida State in a couple of weeks, you know, enroll at Florida State in January, and they would land one of the top 2021 20, quarterbacks in this in the country. So, like you said, big blow for Norvell and Florida State. Uh, they kind of like there were some rumblings in the summer. I think Alabama was was calling uh, a few other people, and it seemed like they held them off. Uh, Florida State held off those teams at that time. Was this more about Florida State, or is this potentially like him seeing what Ole Miss is doing and the chance to maybe stay close to home? I mean, what what do you think is a bigger factor? I mean, I think you could probably go both ways. I, I'd probably say lean more towards, you know, what Ole Miss is doing, I think definitely intrigues him. And, and what Lane Kiffin, Jeff Levy have done offensively at Ole Miss, you know, what they've done with Matt Corral, who had one foot out the door when Kiffin came in to see what they've done offensively and uh, just quarterback wise and to know what he can do, you know, like you said, closer to home in state school. And nothing, nothing about, you know, I don't think Florida State completely turned him away. He still mentioned he believes in Norvell, what he can do with quarterbacks and offensively. But the chance to stay at home uh, at an in-state school, and he's been able to watch for, you know, a couple of months now what Ole Miss has done offensively and kind of see himself in that role. And I think he doesn't get credit for what he can do, you know, with his legs, mobility, and to kind of see what he's done with, with Matt Correll. Mike Corral at Ole Miss, I think that probably weighs more on him than what maybe hasn't been done at Florida State. Or any idea where the Seminoles turn now? I mean, they, they like you said, they got they locked in Altmaier early. He was their guy. What do they try to do to set salvage now over the next <sighs> week or two? Yeah, I don't know if anybody knows what they can do now. I mean, they've had a tough season. And like you said, I mean, with the December window coming up, December 16th, what, two weeks and two days away from the early signing period, where do you go? You know, this is a different year. Uh, can they find, I mean, they, they flipped Tate Rodemaker late last year. I mean, do they try to find somebody like that and flip them late? I mean, there's not a lot of uncommitted guys out there in this 21 class when it comes to top quarterbacks. So um, th- this is a tough blow. Do they wait and try to find someone between now and February? Or can they flip someone in the next two weeks to sign early? That's a big question for Mike Norvell and that staff. All right, yeah, they're probably going to have to look to the transfer market. I mean, it seems like uh, slim pickings. So, all right, Chad, bad, bad, tough blow for uh, the Seminoles. Uh, we're going to watch what Altmaier does and keep an eye on him this week. Be sure to follow Chad on Twitter at Chad Simmons underscore and uh, go to warchant.com for more Seminoles news. Thanks, Chad.